In this video, I'm going to show you how to create different kind of discounts in Shopping Cart Elite. So you're going to go to Products, Discount Codes, and you're going to press on the New button. The difference between a discount code and a special is a discount code is going to be private, so it's not going to be visible on the website. If you have a special, it will be visible on the website. The only exception with a special is if you have it set by a referrer, it will not be visible, and I'll explain what that means. If you are going to be setting up by a referrer, you need to create a special, not a discount. So I'm going to create a special, and I'm going to say you're going to get 50% off any product. You have a choice between doing dollar off, percent off. You could do free ground shipping. You could do a fixed amount on the product itself. You could do the product will be for free. You could also set different flat rate shipping for ground, three days, second day, and next day. So in this case, I'm going to say I'm going to do 50% off, and I'm going to do any product. Now, if you want to have a specific product, there's two ways to do it. You can either say per specific item, and you're going to search for the product, and then select an option if it's available. The other option would be to say per order, and then if you need to restrict specific products, you could restrict it by brand and category. So by brand, you could say that this discount applies to all the brands, or you could say that this discount will apply only to these specific brands. Now, what this actually means is when you say all brands, this discount will apply to any of the brands. If you unselect this and start selecting these, what this means is do not apply the discount to these specific ones, but you can apply to everything else. The reason you do that is because in most cases, the discount would apply to most products except some. So what this actually means is do not apply discount to the following brands, and same thing for the categories. You could either do all categories, or you could say do not apply these discounts to these particular categories, and you're going to select the ones you don't want to apply. Now here you're going to say the discount is valid from, and you could say when it expires. You could also say never, and it's going to take it 10 years ahead. You can set up an order limit in case you want to limit the discount to be only used once. For example, if you are going to have a unique discount code for each Groupon deal, you might only want to say that this discount code can only be used one time. This is the minimum amount that the order has to be in order to qualify for this discount. So you could say 50% off only when you order $100 worth of products. The item max weight means that if certain products will weigh more than, let's say, 100 pounds, then it would not apply to discount. Now, this particular one only works if you're doing shipping. So in other words, if you're going to say, I want to do free ground shipping, you can say, I'll do it for free only if the item is 20 pounds at most. Because a lot of times what could happen is if you're selling soil, for example, or pet supply sand, the product might only cost $10 and the shipping might cost 50 So you don't want to sell something for $10 and then get hit with a $50 shipping and handling charge. So that's why you would apply this. Then you have minimum order and maximum order and get up to discount. So what this actually means is, going back to percent off, you can say that if you buy two, then you get two discounted. So in other words, if you buy two, then I'll discount up to a quantity of two by 50% off. So usually if you want to limit buy two and get one free, for example, you could say that minimum quantity would be three. Maximum quantity, you can put whatever you want, but if you are going to specifically have a discount, you know, buy to get one free, you could say that, okay, you buy three, and then you'll get one discounted, and you could say that it's going to be a free price. So, in other words, you buy two, and you can only have up to three in the shopping cart in order for this to apply. I mean, it doesn't have to be three. It could be, you know, 999, but you'll only get one free. So even if you buy six at this point, you still only get one free. And if you buy three, you get one free. That's how you would set that up. So this is basically made to do buy X, get X, either free or at a discount. 
the product relationship is exactly what it says here. Discount applies when below items are in the cart. So for example, you can say, get a free t-shirt when you buy item A and B. So you could say that when item A and B are in the cart, then I'll give you a free t-shirt. It's going to be a free price and you can select a specific t-shirt. Wholesale levels is to restrict certain wholesale levels. So if your website does business to business and retail on the same website and you offer a special to your retail customers that would not apply to the wholesale customers, you would go here and you would say prohibit the use or you could say prohibit specific ones. Then you have these functions. They're only available if you're doing a special. So this says automatically apply coupon and checkout and apply discount and search result and product page. So what this means is instead of the customer waiting for the discount to apply at the checkout and typing in the code, if he qualifies because whatever he added into his cart or let's say he's on a product page and that particular product qualifies for a discount, if you check these two, this one if you check it, it's going to automatically apply itself without him typing anything on the checkout and this will automatically apply itself on the search result and product page. The Activate plugin is really made for triggering some kind of a CSS or JavaScript or theme or something when the discount is applied. So let me give you an example of how this would work. Let's say you have a buy refer. So buy refer means that this discount will only apply when the customer comes from a certain website. So you could say ebay.com. So let's say you're selling something on eBay and the customer ends up coming to your website from an eBay link. So you could say, I'll give you 50% off anything on my website and to let him know that you're only getting this discount because you're coming from eBay, you could then activate a plugin and you can design a custom one and you can have maybe a promotional banner come up on the very top of the header of the website that says, we know you came from eBay, you get 50% off and it expires today or you have two days to do the purchase. If you say preserve for two days, this will actually trigger a cookie. If you have zero days, it will trigger a session. A session means that as long as he doesn't change his browser and he stays on the same computer, on the same browser for that day, the session will trigger and it will expire over time that same day. If you do a cookie, it's just a different way of saving data. The cookie is a lot more reliable than a session because the session somehow could get lost while he's browsing around. We recommend that you keep it at least one day and not at zero days. But the idea here would be that the discount is associated to a specific referrer, which means that this is a way to protect somebody abusing a discount. If they have to go from an affiliate's website or some other website in order to trigger the discount, they have to go there first in order to get it. So this is really great for, let's say, if you make a deal with some kind of an affiliate or a membership site that only if they have a membership from that site and they enter your website from their website, then the discount will apply. And if they try to go direct and use that discount code, it's not going to work. URL tag is the same thing as by referrer, except it's URL triggered. So this usually is used for email marketing. Let's say you have a big promotional sale and you don't want to just give it to everybody who comes to your website. You only want to give it to the people that you do email marketing with. So you add a link saying, come here and you'll get 50% you know, off. And only if they trigger a certain tag, then it will apply. In order to trigger this, all you have to do is just at the end of any URL that you're going to send anybody to, you can just put a question mark and then put test one. Or you could just put something like question mark discount equals test one and it's going to trigger that. And you can put that at the end of any URL. And finally, the geolocation. So the geolocation is to apply a coupon if you're coming from a certain state, city, or set of zip codes, usually this is used to give free shipping because you can locally deliver it and you can even do overnight shipping. So if you want to do same day shipping because you can just put it in the truck and drive it to the nearest zip code, then you can say fixed next day shipping and handling and you could either choose it all the way down to the state and your set of zip codes or you can type in your own zip codes or postal codes when the visitor comes to your website using their ip address will detect uh, which area they're located in and we will apply that discount automatically for all of their products 
So this could, again, work with either shipping, usually that's what it's used for, or you can even reprice your products based on a certain location. So if you know that you have a lot of customers coming from a certain state and they seem to be price sensitive, it might make sense to do that kind of a discount. The last feature here is combining discounts. We recommend that you just set it to combine with all discounts just so you will not end up with some kind of conflicts. Let me explain an example of a conflict. So if you have 50% off any product and then you say combine with certain discounts and then you have another 40% off for any product combined with certain discounts. Sometimes it could get messy if you have hundreds and hundreds of discounts and sometimes you forget that you had something checked and it just becomes a mess where either the wrong discounts get applied in the checkout or the discounts don't get applied at all. The default rule in Shopping Core Lead is if the discount cannot validate itself and there is a conflict, it just will not apply itself. So the customer will not be able to use it. If you just say combine with all discounts, then if the customer has the discount and he can combine it with as many as needed. So sometimes you have a free shipping and 10% off and they can combine it. If you specifically need to combine a certain group of discounts between each other, so you could do it here. You could say that this coupon will be combinable with other coupons that are in my store. The discount amount is just the amount of money for the discount. You can type in your own coupon code or you can just generate a random number. And this is it. This is all the features that you can use for your discount.